The current challenges of treating patients with PVCs and ventricular tachycardia, idiopathic ones, I mean, uh, can be divided in three main domains. One is, uh, the first one is diagnosis, uh, second treatment, and third prognosis. Regarding diagnosis, there are different challenges. The first one is uh, trying to figure out if the patient has uh, structural heart disease. Although this uh, commonly is uh, ruled out with an uh, echocardiogram, yeah, you have to be aware that some patients, PVCs and BT, may be the first uh, manifestation of an underlying structural heart disease. So in some of these patients, you have to be uh, really suspicious and pay attention on the surface ECG if you can see subtle changes. And when there is the case, uh, uh, additional imaging techniques should be undertaken, such as MRI. Regarding treatment, uh, one of the present challenges is uh, trying to figure out, as I say, if the patient has structural heart disease, and also where these PVCs are coming from. And this will be uh, important to decide whether this patient should be submitted uh, for ablation or uh, uh, trying to plan your ablation strategy. Finally, uh, regarding prognosis, uh, the challenge is first trying to figure out if, uh, again, if uh, these PVCs mean something in, in terms of uh, future outcome, especially if the patient may develop a, a kind of structural heart disease. And if the uh, PVCs are frequent enough, uh, some of these patients may eventually develop uh, a structural heart disease tachycardiomyopathy.